It's taken me many years to come out with the courage to do this video, but I believe it's time. After literally seeing thousands of my own patients, dealing with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, as well as people through social media, as well as traveling the globe, at least partially part of the globe, and running into many of my subscribers and just interacting. And I've learned so much. And the problem here is our medical system. And many of us are literally waiting months to get an appointment with our doctors. And when we go to our doctor's office, the secretary, the nurse is making the checks and the X's, asking for our insurances. And what about those who don't have insurance? And so when we see the doctor, the doctor comes in and being as busy as they are, they spend only a few minutes with us. And then when we get done, we are given a prescription to take medication. And this is where the problem is. The problem is the medical system. The medical system is not on our side. And in all respect, I am not putting doctors down. I realize that they have lots of responsibility. They have lots of patience, but they have very little time. So in order to help somebody, you need to understand their history, their diet, their nutrition, their ways of life, things that they do, things that they don't do, the complications in their life, the stresses in their life. And there are so many other intricate things that that doctor needs to understand to be able to help you or help me. So when we leave the doctor's office and we have a diagnosis, we go home and now we have medication. The medication, as you and I know, is not there to get to the root or issue of your problem. And if you have high blood pressure, you're gonna be taking blood pressure medication. And if your sugar is high or you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, you are gonna take more pills. Or if you're stressed out, you're gonna take more pills. And this is where the problem continues to go. What do we do? Meanwhile, we're suffering with our ailment. We haven't gotten to the root of our problem. We haven't had anyone able to help us. So this tells us something that we as human beings have to be proactive. We have to be our own doctors. We have to learn more about our body and learn about those side effects that those medicines we're putting inside our body. And to have that temporary fix is not the issue because the causation still has not been addressed. And please understand that there is a need for doctors in this world to emergency care, heart attacks, strokes, accidents, falls, injuries. There's numerous reasons why we need doctors, but just because your blood work shows a little bit high sugar or maybe your blood pressure a little bit too high or you're under stress, there's still an underlying issue that we have to investigate, that you have to find out why. You have to do those things to keep you healthy. And you must listen to your body because the best doctor is you. You are the doctor. You are the one that knows best about how your body works, how it feels, how things are functioning, through your sleep, through your energy. And if your body's telling you something that's not right, your intuition, your gut feeling will tell you that's when you need to get checked out. And you must take your health into your own hands. That medical doctors are trained to practice medicine. They're trained to diagnose conditions. They're trained to give medicine for these conditions that fit certain categories. And they're trained to prescribe this medication to you to treat your condition. That's what they're trained to do. That's what they go to school for. They're not trained for the majority on nutrition. When it comes down to your macros, your nutrients, vitamins, your minerals, your anthocyanidins, your polyphenols, your antioxidants, this is where health starts. And if you think about the main conditions that we repetitively hear over and over, that's causing sicknesses and problems and complications and even many deaths, cardiovascular disease, number one, high blood pressure, 
clogging of the arteries, heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, obesity, gastrointestinal problems, stress, difficulty sleeping, fatigue. All of these are just so common that we repetitively hear it over and over and over that so many of us are looking for the miracle pill. How can we help ourselves? Obviously, if you go to the medical doctors, of course, their job is to treat you with medicine. Now, many people still need medicine and I'll never knock that. But even if you're still taking medicine, what can you do to maybe get off that medicine or to take a lower dose of that medicine to prevent your problem, your underlying causation, the root of your condition that's causing your symptoms? What can we do? How can you learn more? How can you stay more proactive? Do proper nutrition by deleting your refined and processed sugars, those toxins, those inflammatory foods that's causing complications in your system by eating more whole grains, fruits and vegetables, by putting healthy proteins or healthy fats back into our body, hydrating, getting our proper sleep so we can have growth hormone work correctly. We could have autophagy working through our body as we clean up those cells and exercising, just taking the time where maybe you don't have to join a gym or do crazy activities, just walk, move around. And those stresses, that increases cortisol and adrenaline, just move, just walk around, let your body burn it off. And I'm not here to be a pessimist. I'm not here to knock doctors. I am here to knock the healthcare system because the only way that you can get well is time education. And if doctors aren't spending time with you, you're not going to get the message. Without getting the message, you're stranded. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. You don't know the first thing you should or shouldn't do. You don't know that if you're doing something, if it's incorrect or what, because as I started out the program, you waited two months, a month, three months to see your doctor and you're only there for five minutes. Maybe you were there for 15 or 20 minutes, but maybe you only saw the doctor for three minutes. And our diet plays a very important role when it comes to our health. But even our spiritual health is so important. Things that we can do to offset stress, anxiety, depression, by slowing our system down, by increasing our parasympathetic nervous system, through meditation, through just exercise, through deep breathing, just Whatever it is to slow your system down, to get that homeostasis, to get that balance back within you so your body can continue to repair and heal. And I will continue to share my heart with you, my love, my education, and whatever I can do to help make this world healthier. But wait a second. I need you as well. I learned so much from you in the comments. I learned so much from the many hundreds and or thousands of people that I run into as I travel. I learned so much and we need to do this as a team to help each other. I just want to thank you for what you've done over the years with me and helping educate other people as well as myself, taking the time to help these people like you're the doctor. Because realistically, what are we? We are all our own doctors. And don't ever forget that. So what this boils down to, stay proactive, continue to learn, ask questions, read, listen, and listen to other people speak, take the good, leave the bad behind. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And I ask you, Leave your comments, all comments, any way you can help others or even myself, leave them below. I thank you so much. Most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.